This is the High Level Bridge. It's where people who live in Edmonton go when we're finally ready to kill ourselves. By the end of this little video, I'm gonna huck this camera over the edge. The mouth of the bridge is on the north bank of the river. 2,500 feet of black steel connects downtown to the south side, spanning the enormous river valley that cuts our city in half. The high-level bridge stands 150 feet above the icy waters of the North Saskatchewan. Everybody around here knows at least a couple people who've jumped. The Canadian Pacific Railway began construction on the bridge in 1910. Over the three years it took to build it, three accidents claimed the lives of three workers. One man, who fell to his death, is entombed in the North Concrete Pier. A friend of ours checked himself into the emergency ward at the U of A hospital. They kept him there overnight, then released him. That morning, walking home, he threw himself over the railing. In 1967, to celebrate Canada's centennial, the city thought maybe we should paint the whole thing gold. That never happened. Another friend left his south side house in the middle of the night, telling his roommates he wasn't feeling well and was going for a walk. No one heard from him for weeks. Quietly, we said to one another, sounds like the bridge to me. In summer, the city turns on the waterfall. A row of spigots across the top pours 50,000 liters of water a minute into the river below for two hours at a time. It's seven meters taller than Niagara Falls. Recently, the city temporarily stopped running the waterfall because they realized it might not be such a great idea to dump six million liters of chlorinated water into the river system every holiday weekend. A study is underway. Another friend was walking home one night in winter. He got to the south approach and saw a patch of ice and a cell phone. Someone had slipped and dropped their phone without noticing. He picked it up, planning to wait for a call the next morning so he could return it. He got halfway across the bridge and found a man getting ready to jump. My friend, who never usually carries a mobile phone, was able to stay with the guy and talk to him while he called 911. The next morning, he returned the phone to its owner, letting her know that by falling on her ass on the ice, she'd helped to save a life. More than architecture, this bridge is part of our municipal psyche. Even if you live in Edmonton and don't want to kill yourself, you eventually wind up thinking about jumping. Even if what you're thinking about is not jumping. Okay, I'm gonna drop the camera now. Uh.